The East meets the West at California Pastrami, and that is all thanks to Mr. Joe Rodriguez. Joe, Joe Rodriguez, Joe. welcome back from California Pastrami. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you. You are the founder, you are the owner, you have made it happen so we can combine the East and the West right That's here right. in New Mexico. That's right. Welcome back. That's good. Well, it's nice to be back. Today we're going to be doing a, a Reuben sandwich. A Reuben sandwich always is I'm good to me. I'm glad you invited me today. <laughs> well, you said you've been, been here. Yeah, tell your us. People, I gotta do, your people were great. Aww. They were so kind that. and they were so wonderful mm -hmm. and they and it was fabulous. And good. I couldn't eat the whole thing. It was so massive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like this tall. Honest to goodness. That's what he said. <laughs> I was great. No, and then I took it home and I had it for dinner. Then I had it for breakfast. Well, what, what, what did dinner. you get? Which one no, did you get? This is the main pastrami thing. Yeah. Is that your most popular? What's it called? The original? Our most cinnamon? popular sandwich is the classic pastrami. Right, okay. And that's on the hoagie roll with the mustard and pickles, and then we do the one on the rye, which we call the Eastern. That's my favorite, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, we also make a really great Philly cheese sandwich. And, um, Yummy. Uh, Good stuff. Fish tacos, carne asada tacos, a uh, pretty wide variety that's of great. items. See, that's nice because if you go in there and you're with somebody who's been, you know when you're craving pastrami and you go in and then somebody oh, yeah. else with you is like, well, I don't know if that's what I'm in the mood for. They yeah. have a whole other set of options. Yeah, we also have uh, some items for the more health conscious people uh, oh, good. that uh, like some uh, freshly made uh, tuna salad sandwich, oh, and nice. a, uh, cold turkey sandwich, and now we're also introducing uh, uh, turkey burger. Very, Very nice. nice. I love having there. options. So, well, how you know, do you do these? This is. Oh, yeah, well, so cool. well, I have to tell you before <laughs> before he finishes this because I do we get to eat it? We're really hungry, by do the way. Do we get to Can eat you tell? <laughs> Go for it, man. <laughs> Wait, Chris. Where I don't know if you go? know this, but. Joe actually had mentioned that this all began at the state fair. Now this was a while back, oh, and very so cool. what happened sure. was he got a lot of people that were coming in. I'm telling cool. your story for you, right? Yep, yep. You, you tell him your story. <laughs> well, he's no, gonna you cook. I go ahead. Hear story. You tell him. <laughs> well, everybody was so excited about it. They asked him, "Where can we go? Where can we go and get the sandwiches? What, where's your store? Where's your store?" And he didn't have a store. And, and I didn't have a store. Oh. But he got a, he got a following. He got a mailing list. He emailed people. All from the state fair. And boom! Now he's Good got two you. locations. So are you planning on being at the state? For, uh, state fair this year? Uh, unfortunately, need. Uh, unfortunately, not you don't this need year. To be. Yeah, <laughs> I have a. Uh, my store keeps me pretty busy. Uh, now uh, that's the. It's the one on Montgomery and uh, San Pedro. San Pedro. It's right Montgomery there on the corner. San Pedro. Yeah. Yep. And yep. then the one I in Santa Fe it. is the mobile truck, right? Yep. It's uh, that's our uh, uh, trailer that my son and I built uh, for the state fair. Isn't and that great? That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, that's, I love it. That's where that's part. So your family's in it too. Yes, I'm oh, my, great. My I know. Son. It's a That's family fabulous. business. I love that. And mm -hmm. of course, New Mexico style viewers are happy to know that you're actually offering some specials. So, what are some of these specials you'll be doing? Well, uh, for all our viewers that, uh, all your viewers that see the show uh -huh. and come in and mention that they saw us here, we're going to give them uh, for any sandwich they purchase uh, free fries and free drink. We saw it. We saw you yeah. on the show. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming over. Can, we, can we already tell you? I we may saw swing you? by there for lunch today. I know. We, need to well, grab we might not need it. Here. So tell us how you how do you make the Reuben? What's the best way to do it? Because you are the pro. Well, we uh, get some uh, rye bread, put a little bit uh, bit of butter on the bread, mm -hmm. put some Swiss cheese and some uh, Thousand Island dressing on there, and then get some. Uh, Fresh, See, look at freshly the sliced. Uh, look at the size of that. I'm freshly sliced. Uh, oh man, corned beef. Carnivores. <laughs> <laughs> and I am. Well, you know when and you go to a restaurant, so sometimes you order a sandwich, and the thing you get the least of is the meat. And yeah. it's so frustrating. It's more. It's more bread than meat. Now, Not what's this business here? Yeah, how do you do this? This is. Uh, this is how we steam the meat. It. Uh, oh, uh, oh. We just put it on a hot, the hot grill. Mm -hmm. And uh, add a, add a little bit of water to that there. That's the secret. That's, the, it, that's, uh, that's the secret thing it's right there. Steaming the see that's uh, and it gets a different flavor. A I lot think. a lot of places uh, they just hold the meat in a steamer, uh, but we find that it uh, we can put out a fresher product by just steaming it at, uh, per order. See, mm. I need to get one of these these grill that's pans. Very is this cool. just a basic grill pan? Yeah, this is just. Uh, your basic uh, flat griddle, and then uh, a lid that covers it. Okay. And keeps it keeps this. And don't touch this thing. I already did. I already did. You know me. Yeah, whatever you do, don't touch that. I was like, oh, look, what's this? Yikes. But this is a. Oh, look, look at this. Steamed, look at this. Gets oh nice God. and steamed real fast. Oh yeah, and I like it. I mean, last time I know you put it. Didn't you put it in, in the um, in the pot, and then you added water? Yeah, because we didn't have. 
This time I I brought my own my own little grill here. See now that's a generous sandwich. No, and it was when I ate it. Honestly, mm -hmm. it lasted two other meals. Are you serious, yeah, dude? Yeah. That's the best. No, it's fabulous. Yeah. So if you're economizing, you've got a big family. And get just a crap. couple sandwiches. Oh, you do the same thing with that. Yeah, I just put it on there just a little bit, so it it just. Uh, Warms it up a little bit. Do you do anything bit. for Sunday during the game, Joe? Can you come by? Yeah, yeah. We do <laughs> some, some uh, party over. platters. And, do you? Yeah, where you can uh, order. Um, you know, we'll do a few few different sandwiches on a platter. You know, just cut oh, in small perfect. pieces. I'm having a little thing on Sunday. See, that's perfect. Actually, it's Saturday. So okay, so now you know when you get the I'll order from Chris Schuler on Saturday, yeah, yeah. you better take good care of it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. Oh, it's early, but I could do. Well, see deal what I told that. you. I this is the thing. That. People Look watch the thing. show and they say you could really eat like that at that hour. But when you're in this kitchen <laughs> and you're smelling the food, yes, the answer is yes, yes you can. You can. <laughs> yeah, Look at that. Oh so that, that's what our Reuben looks good. like. Yummy. It's good. So, I love and it's that. just in time. Now, what do you like to serve? What do you like to serve your sandwiches with generally? We, I know a lot of times we talk about pickles. Well, we always serve uh, our uh, east. Eastern sandwiches and our Rubens with uh, a side of uh, coleslaw, mm. and then we have uh, pickle. some some Gotta have pickles. A Gotta crunchy have a pickle. pickle. It's that great some dill crunchy. taste with the Reuben. Right? Isn't that the this best? This is very good. That is very. I have to say, Joe, that is very oh, East Coast. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. So, Let's put it where they can all see oh, man. the final product. That is gorgeous. Oh, now, is let me good. ask you this: Is your coleslaw more vinegar based, or is it more mayonnaise? What, what's the more of the it's, flavor? Um, a little of both. A little of both? Yeah, okay, we've, good. Uh, we've kind of <clears throat> got some input from a lot of different people and uh, kind of settled in on uh, it has a little bit of vinegar and, okay. and, uh, and mayonnaise. Well, we'll have That's to just delicious. taste it out. Let's remind all our viewers use, where you're located yeah. as well. Let's show everybody how they can find you. Of course, you can go, like we mentioned, over into Santa Fe, and you can call 316-6303 or... On well, Montgomery, yeah. right there near San, uh, San Pedro and Montgomery, right? Yeah. It's fabulous. 872-9253. Joe, you're fabulous. Yay, right. Joe. Thank Are we going to get to eat this? Of course. Okay, good. We'll split it. <laughs> go to break so we can We'll eat. split it. And for today's recipe, you can always go to uh, Casa.com. That's easy. And let me ask you this. You got the blues? Well, coming up next, we'll show you how to cast the gloomies away. We're eating strong.